All righty, give us the rundown, Toshiro. Essentially, we'll be using the same strategy as when we invaded Mario's castle. We'll attract the enemy's attention with a diversion in town, and then sneak in while they're distracted. And after that, we take out Yoshiki inside the castle. Not a problem. So the people we freed, they'll carry out the diversion in town. Is that right? Right. With Yuki's help, I was able to get everything ready on that end. All that's left is for me to give the word, and we'll commence the operation. But wait, how are we going to sneak in? The castle is surrounded by a moat. What do you think we are, ninjas? Unless we can sprout wings, seems like a no. We don't have any special tools or vehicles at our disposal either. Given the distance, I don't think that's feasible. Actually, there's a secret passage that leads into the castle. Isn't that right, Yuki-san? Yes. As Toshiro-san surmised, there's a path that goes from the town into the castle. Yoshiki may be able to fly, but his minions are another story. There's no way a guy who builds a moat wouldn't have some way to transport his bodyguards in and out with him. You've really thought this through, Toshiro. Is it just me, or is anyone else wondering what's up with all these hidden passages and secret doors? My father excelled at exploiting loopholes in the law and common sense to benefit his political career and personal life. Perhaps it's having an effect on this world because I perceive my father that way. I was aware of my father's nature. I always averted my eyes from it. Toshiro. Be that as it may, at least you're going to settle things with him now, right? Yes. I've made all the preparations to do just that. Aha! The whole gang's here, I see. What are you doing here? We thought we'd pop in to pay our respects before the operation. Everyone is already in place. We're all just waiting for the signal. It's finally time to do this, isn't it? We'll be counting on you! For that, I can't thank you enough. We'll be sure to deliver on our end as promised. The success of this operation hinges on your support. We will defeat Yoshiki. We'll do it together. Let's do this! Just one more thing. I'd like to ask a favor of everyone. If you ever feel like you're in danger, I want you to run without hesitation. I don't want any of you risking your lives. Yes, ma'am! That's a promise! You all take care, too! It's almost time to start the operation. I'm counting on you, Toshiro. <sighs> Me too. Oh, by the way, about the operation name, how about Operation Smack Crackle Pop? Vetoed. Why? Your name lacks intelligence. And besides, I've already devised the perfect one. That's right. We'll call it Operation Obfuscation Midnight Infiltration. Lame. What? You'll realize the beauty of it once you hear it from your own mouth. Go on, say it. Oh, no! Lame-ass Toshiro is harassing me. That's really what you'd consider harassment? How about a different idea, then? I have 80 more iterations. Sheesh. There those two go again. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well then, I will give the signal as soon as you're all ready. Once the battle begins, there will be no turning back. Please make sure you're fully prepared. From here on, time is of the essence. We should sprint to the castle. Okay, but don't push yourself so hard you get wiped out, got it? Skull walked me through a brief regimen of thorough leg stretches. My legs already feel like they're on the verge of cramping up, but it's no problem. Sure sounds like a problem to me. By the way, for this plan to work, won't we need disguises? No disguise will be effective enough once we're inside the castle. Furthermore, attempting haphazard costumes could hamper our mobility. That's why we're not the ones who will be disguised. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Over here! Oh crap, we're spotted! We're getting back up! Over there? But that's not where we are. I've got them over here too! Too many of them! I see now. 
just how it's people to dress up like this. The best place to hide a tree is in the forest. I asked Yuki-san and the silk shop owner if they could those outfits. But, uh, aren't the designs kind of... I had a hand in the design. They turned out rather well, if I might say so myself. This was no mere attempt to recreate appearances. This is the projection of the self, as seen by the other. Perhaps it will deepen your self-perception. Yes. As a matter of fact, this could very well be a new form of the self-portrait. I don't get what he's saying. Oh boy, Inari the Art Nut's back. Ha! <laughs> Praise won't get you any. Well, the diversion's holding out. Looks like this was a good plan after all. Now all we have to do is sneak into Yoshiki's castle. Looks like Operation Smack Crackle Infiltrate is underway. Why would you combine those names? Okay, Yuki-san, lead the way, please. Right, this way. We made it. This is the passage. Huh? Where? It doesn't look like a passage. There's a pathway at the bottom of this old well that leads into the castle. It really blends into such an ordinary alleyway, doesn't it? We definitely couldn't have found this place without Yuki-san's guidance. Shall we get going then? The disguises will only fool them for so long. Do you really intend to follow us into the castle? Last here, there's a dangerous battle awaiting us. Why don't you find somewhere safe to hide with the townspeople instead? Oh, but didn't you say we shouldn't lie to ourselves anymore? I want to do everything I can to help save everyone. And most of all, I want to witness your fight with my own eyes, Toshiro-san. Why me? <laughs> I wonder why. I won't back down on this, though. Please let me come with you. But if anything were to happen to you, I... Hey, don't those two look kind of... Is this what a grown-up romance looks like? Isn't it wonderful? I kind of admire it. I've heard love is about the push and the pull. Now's your chance, Toshiro. Push! You guys are getting way too into this. You know I can hear you, right? You've got it wrong, so cut it out already. I understand. If you're that determined, I won't stop you. However, at least promise me you won't be reckless. Please prioritize your safety. I will, thank you. Please be careful as well, Toshiro-san. Now, allow me to show you the way. This is where things really ramp up. The place is crawling with readings. <sighs> What's wrong, Yuki-san? It's odd. The entire layout of the place has changed since I was here last. When you were here last?
Hey, listen. I'll do my best. You should be safe there, Noir. Time to get chaotic. You went for me. What to do?
sorry. Here I go. What to do? I'm ready. Time to get chaotic. Keep on coming. I wonder if Toshiro and Yuki-san are all right. It's dangerous to keep going like this. We need to get out of here. Those two went that way. Let's follow them. Yuki-san, let's hurry. We need to find somewhere to hide. Everyone's waiting for us. Please, stay calm, Toshiro-san. You seem to be having a hard time breathing. Perhaps we should stop and rest? No, it's all right. I'm, I'm sorry, running isn't one of my strong suits. But Yuki-san, I promise that I'll... I promise, promise I'll protect you. <laughs> What's wrong? Do you not feel well? N no, I'm fine. I must be imagining things. Anyway. We should keep moving. The others are in danger. You're right. We need to... Is something wrong? No, but look at that. What a strange design. I don't think this door was here a moment ago. You're right, that is rather odd. Ugh! This way! Come on, follow me! Uh, what is that voice? A voice? What do you... <gasps> Opened by itself? What is this? 
<laughs> no. What is this place doing here? Toshiro-san, you're deathly pale. Please, hold yourself together. I promise. You promised me. Liar! It's your fault! It's all because of you! Please, forgive me. Back then, I... It's all your fault! I'll never forgive you, Toshiro! <laughs>